Hey friends, we'll be back again to this new tutorial with the OSP Pro. Uh, in this video, today simply we are going to learn how to make a complete login system uh, using one known as uh, VBA Excel. Now, the same system you can use, you can make using X, uh, Access, uh, PowerPoint, Publisher, and Word. Still, I'll show you, my friends, how to make one. Let's just try to make this uh, very fast. Then we we'll see what next. No next uh, new video. Uh, simply, let me just tell, take you straight into my program, and I show what I have made and what we're going to make. Maybe. So this is my system. Just going to run it and I show you how it works. Like, this is it. Enter some information here, which are not in the system, and you click there. It should tell you a uh, wrong username or password combination. And if you try to cross check again in our system here, is that if you try to check again in our system, we have some other stuffs around. You have the exit button that when you always when you happen to click on it, whenever you click on the exit button, you should always exit the system. At the same time, also we have what known as the reset button that if we have some values there as a password and the values if you click in here with reset we can always reset the system back to the default just like that to make it a complete and also the same times also the same also applies if you happen to enter the right information there which is OSP Pro or OSP and the password is 123 if you click here we should go to the next uh, form and which can always exit and we can always end the system by either exiting here and that's it so my friend let me just take you straight into the forward uh, how to can we make that application I remember some time back I happened to make a login system but does did have one as the reset button that for this one day we have the reset button so I'm just gonna go straight forward and I happen now maybe to start from uh, what we need first now make sure you have Excel is um, office installed in your machine I have Office 13, so for you can use any right as long as Office 10, Office 7 and above to work for you. So just take, click on the blank one, uh, blank, and make sure you an Excel just here. Now, uh, first option is that you have to make sure you have the developer tool, and if you don't have, you, you if you don't want to use it, uh, you can always hold Alt with F. F12, F11, Alt with F11 should take you uh, to the developing part where you should be programming on. Now, let me first help you, my mouse. I know you don't have the developer tool. Let's just go to Files, uh, Options, then Customize Ribbon, then coming down here where they say uh, Developer. I think for you, you'll find you as with that developer when the developer is not tick, just tick, give it a tick, and it's okay. So the developer should be tick, and as it's tick, you should be seeing a developer here up. So click on the developer and click one known as Visual Basic. So just click there, and so that should be in a platform like this. Now just go to where they say Insert. Click on Insert, and they say User Form. Click on User Form, and now this is what going to be uh, our user where we shall be creating our the login session from. So should you should just resize the form depending on what you want. You can change the background color. You can do any other stuff around here what you want to do. So I'm, I'm not just going to do anything there. I'm just going to go straight and I put there one on as a frame of my system. Just going to frame, give it a frame uh, so that my system looks something nice. Wow, something like that. So I can just go straight and I change the font size of the system. They give you the font depending on what I want. So I just want something like that, and I'm just going to change this one to one known as a login system. Login. A login system, something like that. Now I already have my form there. You can always change that for color or the background color. We can change the background color to something else if that's what you want. And then the four color, we should change that four color to white, depending on the other system so far we generated before. So let's have something like that, just similar to what I had on my application. Now, after getting that, please let's just go and put the buttons very fast and the label. So let's just go and put the label. This is going to be uh, for username. Just put that very fast. That's my username. I'm also going to put for the password here very fast. Uh, password my password button is uh, I'm just gonna try to put another buttons for 
uh, my stuff so you have the username and the password those are the labels the, the labels let's just put the text box drag a text box put it there this is another one for a password Wow, already have them there. So my friends, mine so far is done. I think you can see you have the two and they're already there. Let's just add two buttons and add three buttons. One for the login. So this is going to be our login button. And I'm just also going to need the one for reset button. So I'm just going to change this and put the one on as reset. And we also put the one for our. This is going to be the exit button. So my friends, my interface so far is done. If I happen to go straight and I try to run it again, it should get something just like that. So if you try to cross check, uh, the system so far is okay, and I think you can see. Maybe just let us work on this password and make this to become like real password. So come back here and just click on it, click on this text box and then you just go to one on us uh, password character which is just here down. You can give give any character, I'm just going to put the multiplication sign, that asterisk to show that's going to be a multiplication sign there. So if I try to enter anything here down, I think you can see that now it is going to be a password just like that. Now let us just try to work on this exit very fast. This is our exit button so that when someone happened to click it should be a closing up. So just double click there and just add the following code. Just say me dot hide. And that's it. So my exit button I've already taken care of. Let's just go and try to click on the system again to check whether it's working. So when you happen to click in exit, you should always should always see that the form is actually exiting. If you just click on the exit button there, the yeah, stuff should be working like that. That's it. Now let us also work on the reset button so that you can take care of that very fast. Now to take care of the reset button, make sure that you don't forget the following. To take care of the reset button, what's the name of the username is is text box one and then the password is going to be text is text box two so you should be taking care of them when you're using the reset button so don't forget this is text box one for username and then text box two uh, for our password so just double click here on the reset button and add the following code so you're just going to put some few conditions then just I'm just going to say text box one the text this is going to be equal to nothing because we don't have want any value there. By the time when someone happened to click, whatever is there has to be going to uh, be equal to nothing. So the same applies to this one also. We should be in position to tell you that we should also equal to be nothing. So this is simply telling the text box one is equal to nothing and the text box two will be equal to nothing by the time when a person happened to click on those uh, the, the reset button. Just like this. So if you happen to enter some values there for username and then maybe some for the person and click on the reset button, all those stuffs I should be clearing up. So my friends, the reset button so far we have already taken care of. And that's great. Now let's go and talk about one on us the login button where you're going to be putting much of our main point at the moment. Now with the login button, to put the login button still we shall also use the the the, the text box one, which is that, and also our text box two for the password. So you could also go and change them, but I didn't couldn't change mine at the moment. I'll show you in the next video when I'm trying to make a little bit of complete system at the moment. So let me just try to go to login, double click on the login and try to add the following uh, conditions. Now in the login we shall use some if to a bit of if statements whereby I shall say if a text box one the text is equal to having now remember we're dealing with a string here. Uh, and whenever you're dealing with a string, you should put a string inside a uh, double quotes. So I'm going to just simply try to break my stuffs like that. I'll explain that to you. I'm simply saying that if text box one do text, that implies if the value in the text box, if the value in the text box one is equal to OSP, and the value in the text box two, so the same thing. That's it. Text box. Dot text. We are saying dot text because we need to go. And, uh, we shall be getting the value from the user. Uh, maybe this is going to be one, two, three. So this is it. So if value from text box one 
is equal to OSP and the value in text box is equal to 1 to 3 then now remember individual basic we shall always be using then I'm not individual basic A or in VBA we always use then so that uh, to, to be going to is like statement going to or what if this is the then what then what what should happen then we expect this the the user form user form to dot show we expect the second form to be showing up now this second form of ours I haven't I haven't now happened to create it there or happen to put in the program which we're going to be putting it later on don't worry about that so let me just say that's what so far we have so else I will need also put an else condition there where I'll be giving else I will need just a box a message box to be popping up for us else I'll just say that uh, wrong username or password combination wrong username or password uh, combination So that's it. That's what we shall be getting there as long as the wrong username and password combination. If at all the person happen not to enter the following codes. The following code which then will make the second form to pop up for us. And then here I'm just going to end this one by writing one as end if. So that's it. That's how we always do some little bit of coding in our VBA. So my friends, if you try to see this program, that's it. Let me just go straight and put the second form and then we'll wind up with that. So you just click on exit, I mean insert and I put there the form and that form will be the our second form I think you can see it down. So I'm just going to resize it uh, to be a bit bigger compared to the uh, login form. And that, that's it. You can just put there also an exit button on our top of it just that to just demonstrate something. Uh, I'm just going to say maybe exit. So that's it, just going to be having an exit on it, <laughs> so it's too big. Uh, just try to resize this a bit and I put somewhere. And I just going to call there, giving it a simple label, which I'm going to just say uh, a second form. Just something like that, I'm just trying to resize it so that it looks a bit bigger compared to that size. Uh, that's it. Uh, this is our second form and that's what we have there in our second form so that's what we have in the second form and our exit button is here you can also go and try to cross check there try to uh, give the font depending on what you want that's it you can also go straight forward and try to give the color to it if you want to give any color you can also go and change that color to depending on the color you want if you want red you can always make red if you want the font color to be white you can always make it white depending on what you really want to make that part to be so that's it if you also try to click on run on the second form you should get something like that so our second form is also over and if you try to cross check right now we need to just also to add the button at uh, the 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 codes in our second form so just come on the second form double click on it and also add uh, just some few coding there that me dot hide uh, just want to say hide like that you don't hide so that's it so if you cross check now again the coding for the second form if I click there it should be ending so my friend let us just try to uh, cross check again in our coding very fast I said this is going to be a frame this is our frame which I happened to add there which is calling all this program of ours and this is the label holding the username and then the password and then this text box one and this text box two which is holding the username and the password are filled then this is a button one for login for this is for reset and this exit and let me just take you straight to the coding very fast and I'll explain to you I said that for exit just put me dot hide and then for uh, the reset button just put the text box one dot text equals to nothing and the same applies to the text box for password and then when you happen to go to the login this is just my some few codes I happen to add there where I said if text box one dot text equals OSP and text box two dot text equals to one text box two dot text equals one to three then uh, form two should be user form two should open up which is this form around here else should pop up with giving us a message like that thinks I'm done with explanation just go straight and run my program once more if I just enter something like that like that I can always come back here and I reset if that's it and I can also come back here if this is the right information 
and that's it if I click there I should be getting the second form popping up for us like that so that's it when you give the right one if you give the wrong information something like that then we expect to get one a wrong username or password combination my friends thanks for watching and that's it please don't forget to subscribe to always be pro channel uh, and that's it thank you very much make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos I love you all thank you